Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions. I am really excited about today's video because I got to go out to Chicago to the Circadence event at the Microsoft Technology Center and meet and interview Laura Lee, who is one of the leading developers of the Project Ares training platform. And I got to speak with her about how she utilizes Project Ares to train middle school kids, high school kids, college kids, and even the military. There's a ton of useful information out of this interview. And for me, it was really exciting to hear how she is getting involved with kids at an early age, getting them involved in cybersecurity and utilizing this platform to do so. So if you guys are interested in learning more about Project Ares, which is a gamified cybersecurity training platform, please check out the link in the description below. For now, let's get right into this interview. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So I've been doing cyber for about 15 years. Um, most of my career early on was training, I got called the old fashioned way, training the military how to do cyber defense. And it got, you know, we got pretty good at teaching team tactics and how to do cyber, but it just wasn't scalable. We had 3,000 uh, folks in the military and it took us uh, tens of instructors, about 25 instructors to teach 50 students. That's just not scalable. So the Circadian CEO, Mike Moniz, came to me and said, why don't you take what you're doing in this virtual world and put it inside of a game engine and then use artificial intelligence to take on all those teaching roles and all the, uh, the staff. I thought it was crazy, but actually within six months we were able to build project areas. So um, it, was, it was awesome, and uh, it, I think it's now really rolling out there to not just the military and corporate, but schools, hopefully all the way down to middle school. Yeah, you were just telling me about how you were working with middle schoolers. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about that? Because that's really exciting. And, and that's really what I'm passionate about, is trying to get to middle school and to teachers that are teaching that age group, middle and high school, because I think that's the future for us to really get through the challenges we're having in cyber. So last year we had a competition where junior varsity teams were middle school and varsity teams were high school teams. And they had about 80 teams and they used the Project Aries platform to learn about cyber for about three months. They went through a qualification round and then a final round, the top eight teams. So I thought it was great, but then they're like, well, you have to prepare a competition for the final day. And I'm like, I don't know what middle school people are able to do. So we, we we struggled with that a little bit internally. We finally said, well, why don't we just build like we always do for the military? Just build a, a virtual ci uh, city or a, a bank. We'll attack it. We'll just see how they do. And, but we were nervous. Like, what if the kids all come in and, and they get bored or they don't know what they're doing or it's a complete disaster? And it was absolutely the opposite. Those kids came in there, about 75% of the teams completed all the way as if they were a full-up functioning team. And they were just like this high, but they asked all the same questions that the other teams do. That's and it was awesome. a, a success. That's so cool. So it made me a believer that I think the recruiting um, focus should be on middle school. That's how we're going to help cyber. What, what are some of the scenarios that they were run through, uh, going through within the platform? So it was, it was really neat. What we did is we gave them um, a problem where uh, we gave them a realistic scenario where they were trying to uh, support a satellite communication system and they were worried about an attack. We told them that web attacks were very common because that is one of the biggest things to get to know. And then we um, gave them a crime scene with some digital forensics of a suspicious person around the satellite communication company. Mm -hmm. So simultaneously, they were looking through that digital forensics task. It's a battle room for us. They're going through the pieces, trying to figure out what the threat actor is up to. Meanwhile, there is an attack, so they're trying to balance resources. And um, they went through and they identified the risks, got the systems back up, and then as their um, uh, assignment, they had to brief the local like FBI who really brought them in, and, and they had to get used to like how do we communicate about cyber to yes. other people who you know need you and to be able to prosecute um, the uh, adversary of this. So it was, it was really, really awesome. amazing. That's so cool. The, the communication part is such a, I feel like a huge part just in IT in general. And, and the learning teamwork. Our skills. Yeah, absolutely. So the teams had That's to figure awesome. out how to manage the team. So we always make someone be a team leader, generally five to seven people on the team. And I thought what was really interesting is, um, you know, in the field, there's like 11% women in my career, in my field, I'm sort of an oddity. But in middle school, it's like almost 50%. When we get to high school, it drops to like 40. Uh, and the high school team, though, I was really proud. It was not only... Um, uh, led by a, a female, but there were six girls and two boys on the team. And they just, you know, so it's really, it's, it's a field that anybody can do and everybody should look at. It's not just, you know, the geeky guys in the hoodie. Right. So if you were going to give anybody 
advice or encouragement to get into this field, what would that be? What would you tell somebody, middle school or adult, you know, what would you tell them? So I think this is an awesome career space because it, it's never old, you're always learning. So if you're a person who likes to constantly learn, um, you're creative because there's a lot of problem solving. It's, uh, it, so not everybody wants to always learn and, and have challenging problems to solve. But if you're like that, and you're also tenacious, because in cyber, you might try something 10 times and it fails, but the 11th time it works. So you have to be willing to just like keep at it and be organized and want to be part of a team. And it's going to be, it's an awesome career to be in. And it's, there's so many openings. There's 300,000 openings today. And by next year, they say, some people say 1 million, a million and a half. By the time middle and high school, there'll be millions of openings, all high in pay. So why not do it? Absolutely. And how do you feel like Sir Cadence is helping fill the gap? So I think to change the world, and we really need to focus on the education and to get you know our young people um, the right foundational skills to succeed. Other countries do a better job, I think, than, than we do. But in Sir Cadence, we sort of felt there was like three things that you need to have. One, you need to have an environment that's safe. So we build these virtual worlds. They look like a bank or a city with a fake internet and fake users. You have to have something that, that people can train on that is, is realistic and safe. We also need to constantly evolve because the threat's changing, the, the tools are changing. So we have a, a tool that we call Mission Builder to constantly change the environment and the, the games. And the third thing, which we're doing now, but we're um, partnering with Microsoft, is you need a ubiquitous range. We need a, a virtual cloud space for all the schools, and that's you know some a company like Microsoft brings us that, and we're on their Azure cloud. That's awesome. That's yeah. that's great news. So I think it's now so cool. we can do it. Yeah, that's awesome. Is there anything else that you want to mention, add, talk about? <sighs> well, my next goal is to work with teachers, and because. The, the platform really supports teachers. You do not have to be a cyber expert. You can be a history major, an English teacher, a PE, whatever it is, if you want to get involved in cyber, come find me, come reach out. I have material that I'm happy to help with. I teach um, graduate level, but I've also um, helped in middle school, and we can do it. We just need to start working together. Absolutely. And I just want to tell you that the platform is mind-blowing. It's I, fun. <laughs> it, it is. When I first found you guys in, in InfoSec World last year, I, my jaw, hit the floor. I was like, this is the most amazing learning platform I've ever seen in my life. So I really hope more people, you know, come on board, check it out, and really experience it because they're really going to be experiencing something, you know, at a level that I don't think they've ever seen before. And they're really going to learn a lot from it. Everybody says it doesn't feel like training. No, it doesn't. A lot of people like games. This is just really a game. Yeah, it's awesome. Great. Well, thanks thank for you. having me. Yeah, appreciate thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the interview that I did with Laura Lee from Circadence. If you guys are interested in more about Project Aries, make sure you guys check out the link in the description below. If you have any other comments, questions, or suggestions, make sure you hit up the comments below. And that's all I got for you guys today. So as always, take it easy.